Hey everybody, hope you all are doing great. Welcome to a monotonous video, but this video is gonna be knowledgeable because I will be sharing my notes with you guys. So you can certainly understand that I will be sharing biology notes uh, as you can see my NCRT book. So today I'm gonna share the notes of biotechnology part, uh, the biotechnology principle and processes. So yeah, if you're preparing for boards, it's very important. If you're preparing for NEET, it's absolutely very important. In boards, it is uh, the weightage of the chapter is of 12 marks, which is very huge. Out of 70 marks, you're getting 12 marks from a section like principle and process and application. So you can understand. So you must study your NCRT book like this so that uh, it falls apart. So yes, I studied NCRT, I watched lecture and then I made the notes with the reference of my lecture. So yes, without any further delay, let's jump into the video and talk about the notes. All the important lines of NCRT I have written and highlighted. You can see the blue highlightings of the European Federation of Biotechnology, whatever they have said. So principle of biotechnology is divided in two parts, genetic engineering and bioprocess engineering. And genetic engineering includes the construction of recombinant DNA, gene transfer and and gene cloning and bioprocess engineering is the maintenance of the sterile environment while performing the genetic engineering so next topic traditional hybridization versus genetic engineering we got two scientists named stanley cohen and herbert boyer uh, in 1972 they constructed first recombinant dna and then i have explained everything with the help of diagram because i understand diagram more and next you will get all the steps involved in biotechnology like identification and isolation of genetic material so first we will be isolating the genetic material everything is in diagrammatic form then fragmentation by restriction enzyme and all the important parts are highlighted next on the list is the difference between exonuclease and endonuclease the exonuclease is an enzyme which cuts the nucleotide strand from the ends and the endonuclease are the enzymes which cuts the strand in the center and here comes the the naming of restriction enzymes and always remember the roman number represent the order of isolation these are the diagrams of working of restriction enzyme in eco r1 that is sticky and thin and they connect with ligase and if you're thinking that oh, what are these diagrams you can always open ncrt even you don't have to open ncrt i have included all the ncrt diagrams which are needed in the notes because uh, i feel relatable when ncrt diagrams are in my notes and i can see the things that no these are are being discussed in ncrt gel electroporesis this is the separation technique for gene of interest nicely given in ncrt you can read and understand very simple but important pcr polymerase chain reaction which includes denaturation annealing and extension or polymerization here comes one of the most important diagram from this chapter which is e coli cloning vector pbr322 plasmid bolivar rodriguez 322 the full form and next you can see that how pretty i made these diagrams and even to make myself understand i used symbols like emojis next we talked about some more diagrams and why do we select puc8 plasmid instead of pbr322 and next upcoming like you can see here i i put a lot of effort making these diagrams okay whatever next is host transformation we are almost like in the end of this chapter uh, heat shock treatment for bacterial cell and next is gene gun technique and after all the discussion we can end the chapter with type of culture like batch culture which is closed system and continuous culture which is open system downstream processing very simple things are there you can read ncrt and next chapter is biotechnology and its application i will also provide the notes of this chapter everything in this note is given in a simpler manner than ncrt you know uh, all the diagrams so the diagrams which are not present in ncrt i have drawn the diagrams and then explained the things my ma'am did explain me and then i wrote these things into these notes and yes if these notes help you let me know in comments and maths formula sheet physics formula sheet i know i have also prepared them and i will also provide them so don't you worry about it and i know some people have exams going on i also have exam after a week some chapters are left i need to revise all the books i need to do maths i need to practice physics but whatever <laughs> keep smiling study the things which you understand Stand and keep revising and keep doing previous year question if, if you're preparing for both previous year question sample papers are heaven there are 20 sets of sample papers i will also provide that in the description and yep that was all for today